Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Injection room required. Okay, we will wait a second. I will go first and go in here and quickly build the staff room. So I've got that bit in there. We're going to want a sofa in here. I'm going to put one there and I'm going to put one there. I'm also going to put a sofa down there. I'm going to put a drinks machine in there. I'm going to put a snack machine right next to it. I'm going to not have a carrots machine or a rainwater machine. I'm going to put a television right down there. And I'm going to put a locker in here. Put a couple of lockers in here, I think. I'll put one there, and I'll put one there. So they've got a couple of those. We will put an armchair in here. Can I put one? I can't fit one in there. So I'll put an armchair down there. We will scroll down through here. We will put a fire extinguisher in this room. Right there. I'll put an aircon unit in here. Can that one go in there? That one can. The armchair can't, but we can put an aircon unit in there. We can put a bookcase in here somewhere. Drop one of those in there like that. Uh, I'm thinking that, that TV could go there like that, so then more people can actually use it. We'll put a couple of rugs in here. Put one under there, uh, one under there, and I'll put a rug up that way as well. There, so we, we've got some rugs in here. We'll put a plant. Actually, where are we going? If we're going to put a plant in here, where would we put that? We could put that one there, and it's not going to be in the way of anything. Now, there was something that I seen in the staff room in the other playthrough that we had. We can put a clock on the wall, because it's always good for the staff to be able to see what time it is. Um... We've got a wall plant as well. I put one of them on the wall. It was the dartboard. Provides entertainment. So I don't think I got room in this staff room for a dartboard. So I, th I think we will leave that. But the, maybe, we can have the coffee table though. Yes, we will have a coffee table. We'll put one of those in. I put that in there. That one can go down there like that. And then they've got an actual coffee table right there. We'll put one more wall plant here somewhere. That one can go up on there. And we've got a level 4 prestige staff room there. I think that is a staff room that would keep anybody happy. They'd be thrilled to bits to be able to have that staff room right there. Next up, we've got injection room. A doctor discovered a new illness. Weeping iris. Sustained sobbing has left the sufferer with a leaky aperture or two. They require cheering up and a chemical treatment that tightens the body's plumbing. The patient is seeking treatment. We'll need an injection room in order to treat them. Uh, get patient to wait. Let's make our next room which is obviously the injection room i'm hoping that we will also right now wait a minute i'm going to want a nurse trained in diagnostics and i'm going to want a nurse trained in injection administration so i will go there trainers available is going to have to be you and trainees available is these two nurses right here uh you're just fasting on your toes so i think i'm going to put you as diagnostics uh which means that you are going to be the one that is going to train injection administration just to start with so start training right there and you're going to be my diagnostics one so i'm going to go with the injection let's um just have things playing along at normal speed for a minute and i want the injection room here this has got to be a three by three room so if we have diagnostics and GPs in that area, we could then, two, three, that's a four over there. Uh, that's another injection room. Patient with weeping iris, get patient to wait. I've got my toilets over here. So, you know, I think that we'll start building some treatment rooms over this side. So we'll, we'll start off by doing our injection room here. One, two, three. It seems such a shame to waste the corner, doesn't it? I'll do I'll do a, a four in there. I'll put the door up that end like that. And then I'll go into there like that. 
And then we're going to want a toxic bin in this room. We're going to want a medicine... No, uh, yeah, medicine cabinet. Take a, medicine, a couple of medicine cabinets in here. Two, three, four, five, like that. Let's uh, bump that up to 20 grand. And I will move that medicine cabinet there over a little bit like that and we'll put a recycling bin in here in case they want to recycle any of the injections and we will put that one in there i know that they don't recycle injections i know i know i know um we'll put an aircon unit in here because it is frightfully hot where we are and then we will put a plant in here as well that one can go Right there in the middle of the room for everybody to look at. And the only other thing that I want in here is a chair for any nurse to be sat on while they're waiting for more victims. I mean, patients. I mean, patients. And they can go right in there. And we have an injection room. Excellent. Right. Let's let that carry on. I've got a staff room. I've got toilets. I've got a training room over here. I've got AGP in there, we've got the reception, uh, we've got toilets, as I said, we've got the injections over there. So we're now, what we're wanting to do is that doctor is going to need something, diagnostics plus 92%. It's important to me to feel like I've got my finger on the pulse of Two Point County. So after work, I'll head out to take in the sights. I'll absorb the culture see a talkie I've not yet seen, or simply listen to people talk at the park. In everything, there's a lesson to be learned by listening. Here, try it with this next song. Okay, there's a lesson to be learned by listening. So we're going to go in here. This general diagnosis room is a three by three. So I'm going to just play on there. I'm going to have the easy scan like that. I'm going to put the table next to it over there. We'll put a medicine cabinet in here as well. Those are diagnosis and treatment are plus 1% each. Uh, we want a toxic waste bin. That one's going to go there. Training course complete. Injection administration. Let's pause things a second. We'll finish building this room and then we can have a look at what the uh, next steps will be. We want the nice smelling hand sanitizer in there. I don't want to go burning through too much of our money. He says, having built a $60,000 training room. Um, but we, like, I, I don't want to go burning through it any faster than I have already done so. I will put a plant in there and... Let's not worry about having any more in this room just for a minute. So I've got a general diagnostics in there. I'm going to get another room as well, but I figure general diagnostics is pretty good to start with. So I want to go into here and trainees available. So right now I've got a janitor, a janitor, a nurse, and a student doctor. So the other nurse has now been trained with injection administration. I've got this nurse here. Let's go to hire a second. What other nurses have we got? We've got pharmacy and ward management. You got ward management and you've also got injection administration. I kind of want those two, but I want them on separate nurses. And this is this is why I'm looking for like a general practice and psychiatry one would be a pretty good combination, I think. And Mike, I'm I'm tempted to take you. I'm not, I'm not going to take you though. I'm I'm going to leave you. I'm I'm not going to take you at all. I'll go diagnostics. We'll run diagnostics in here. I've got you to come in, which means that the student... No, I don't want the student doctor to take diagnostics yet. I want the nurse right there. She's going to train diagnostics like that. That course has got... How long? 16 days. Okay, our training room is definitely worth the effort. Definitely worth what we've paid out for. And so we go all the way over here. One problem that we do have. <laughs> oh, I love this training room. It is absolutely brilliant. Wait. What happened there? Treatment failed. 
Funding update. Holistics will now cover 82% of our total running costs for the next three months based on our wellness index score. Wellness funding. Right, how do I get the like how do I get more information about my wellness index? Objectives. Happiness. Health. Attractiveness of the general hospital. Cleanliness. I don't know what that one is. Oh, reputation. Use of marketing and positive word of mouth. Hospital hygiene. Supply hand sanitizer and keep toilets well equipped. Decorate the hospital. Minimize loose rubbish and waste. Keep visitors entertained and well fed. Pay well. Provide a nice working environment. Well, I was about to go and do some stuff here. So I want some items. I want some bamboo benches for people to sit down on. That will go there. So they are happy with that bit. I'm going to provide a uh, bench down over there. I've got two janitors that are working hard to keep the place clean and tidy. We've got the carrot stands over this way for food. I will also put some benches down there like that. We've got benches around that one. We don't need any benches around that room. But I've now got a general diagnostics over here. So I'm also going to put a couple of benches next to general diagnostics over there. Then we're going to go with reduces hunger and self-sustaining. We've got four of them. We've got snack machines. Stock with cheesy cubbins. And they are stocked with burp doesn't take long to grow self-sustaining they reduce hunger i'm thinking that we want to do some snack machines to gain some cash so we've, we've got these for getting a bit of money coming in but we've also got the carrots as well to help reduce the whole hunger situation so i'll put those two back to back like that and then we've got plenty of rainwater bits scattered around the hospital as well. But they also, they, they're saying that they want decorations in the hospital. We don't have very much in the way of decoration, do we? So we're going to be looking for wall plants. So we can have a few of these. And put uh, one on each end of there. I could put one... Oh, we can we can put them above the chairs as well. So I could put a wall plant sort of in between each of those. Like that. I've already got some here. Put another one up. They don't benefit the hospital hugely, though, do they? We're, we're, we're sort of more wanting some of these. I've got some yucca plants and I've got some standard plants. So we could put a standard plant over there. And another one over there. Just put a few in different spots. Around the hospital. Maybe in some of the corners like this. Near some of these locations where people are coming in for treatment. That kind of thing. And I'll get some yucca plants as well. That one can go back there. So we've got a bit more hospital attractiveness. Uh, you can sort of go out this way and... What we're doing now is we like I'm I'm trying to balance out the bits that we've got there. We can put one up against the end of those. I could put one there near the bookcases, up against the machines. Hospital attractiveness has now gone up quite a step. That's really good. So we we do want lots and lots of plants all the way around the hospital in order to like really really push things out a bit so we'll put another one over here and then we can come over this way i can't put one in the corridor right there i'm planning on having like another room here and another room here but not right there so we should be all right there i can drop a plant here and here and put one in the middle and Let's get some more plants unlocked. I've, I've still got 12,000. We're all right for a moment. There, we've got sunflowers. That's 400 points for a sunflower. The cactus, the palm tree is 900 points. I've got 3,000 points. Carnivorous plants. 
Let's and the rose bush. I think we will go with a rose bush and a sunflower. Because like the, the kind of place that we Oh, that one's like more powerful. Sunflower we, we we want flower power. That's what we want. Alright, let's put a sunflower in there. We'll put a rose bush over this end. Like that. I'm gonna put a rose bush there and a sunflower down that end. That one's not quite in the middle. That one should be there, I think, actually. Uh, let's get another couple of rose bushes going here somewhere. We'll put you here and we'll put you over here. Hospital attractiveness is 52%. So it's slow going, increasing it like this, but it does kind of work. Right, it it is ma it is going to make a bit of a difference. It's it's not going to like completely overwhelm the hospital immediately. Our money is getting low. It's kind of bit to be expected. I am putting around an awful lot of plants. The problem with all of these plants also is that someone's got to come along and water them, which is is not great. Right, so there's the hospital attractiveness. That's really gone up much better. Uh, decorate the hospital, minimize loose rubbish and waste. Now, I've got my janitors are busy working on the whole loose rubbish and waste situation. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, that one, use upgraded machinery and qualified Attention. staff for our curate. Please urinate accurately. Please urinate accurately. <laughs> oh, right. I've got uncomfortable patients over here. I want to go to it uh, items there. We need the aircon unit. Where is the air? There is the aircon unit right there. I'm going to have to put aircon units in strategic locations throughout the hospital to keep everybody cool and calm. And that's going to also include having to air condition the bathrooms. So if we put some over there, that's cool and calm over that way. We can put... You here. Probably help if I had you facing the right way like that. Okay, so there's a little bit more cool and calm. It's making things look a little bit more comfortable in different places. Right the way, right the way through the hospital. I'll do one more down over here, right next to there. So it's sort of near the bridge. That's going to help keep people cool and calm. Okay, so we've got better temperatures. Things are looking a little bit nicer. So what about you? What are you doing? General diagnosis. You're heading over there at the moment. Now I've got general diagnosis being trained over in here. So let's let's fast speed that. You can speed up and you can do your general diagnosis. Nurse to general diagnosis. Okay. Yeah. Well, once we've got training done over there, then we'll be able to have that one, which would be absolutely fantastic. We are getting some money coming in as well from diagnosis and I'm assuming from treatment and so on and so forth. Wellness index. There I have just had somebody cured. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of litter. -er. A lot of litter. We need more bins. Items. Let's go through. We've got recycling bin. Right there. And I'll do a recycling bin there. We'll put a few of these around the hospital. We're also going to want other bins. You can have one there. And we can have one here. We can have one over here as well. Then we're going to go with standard bins. Put one there. One here. I've got several bins over that way. I'll put one there. The more bins we have, the less likely people are to go littering. At least this is what I'm hoping. So I'll put it. There's there's a few extra bins in place. That should also help things. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. As part of the Mayor's Green Initiative, your hospitals receive visits from the Department of Green Things and be given eco ratings. Eco ratings may result in bonuses or fines from the mayor, depending on whether you're helping or hindering her re-election campaign. Right, wellness index. Look, this is this has changed a minute. 
Uh, cure rate there is looking good. We've got staff happiness is looking pretty good. The bit over their reputation is not so great. Staff morale current is 67%. It needs to go higher than that. Cure rate of 70%. Cure patients cured, 0 of 0. Cure 8 patients in woodwork. Okay, we've had a cure there. So we only get $850 for a cure, which isn't the best cure rate, really. Okay, so I've now got someone who is trained in diagnostics. Which would be you. That is excellent. You are both now working in the right places. So what do I do with my other doctor? Let's have a look at the hire as well. What have we got? I've got another doctor here that I can hire who has no training at all. I've got a psychiatry doctor there. I'm going to take this doctor, I think. Uh, once more expensive and has a short temper. Does cherish pie. Let's not forget that he does cherish pie. He's motivated. He likes to argue. Magic plus five. <laughs> I don't mind the magic plus five. And general practice along with psychiatry. That's... We haven't had any requests for psychiatry yet, though. And this doctor is cheaper. Although they, they'll... they Ultimately, they want more money. So maybe we should... We'll leave the docs. I got a, I got a spare doctor at the moment. Anyway, I got another one here with the whole stamina training thing, but I got a motivation one there and ward management, and they are just ward management. So we're going to take you. They do want more money. They're higher. So that's that's fine. We will take you anyway. I'll bring you in, and we'll bring in this. So now, what are we going to do? What is next on the list? Do I want some more? Cure rate of 70%. I've cured one of one. That's a pretty good cure rate, curing one of one. Ooh, right. Staff challenge from Melissa Diamond. I've always wanted to see a large sum of money earn 100,000. I doubt I'm going to be able to do that. One of our patients, Beryl Wood, has been sent to all our diagnosis rooms. We're only 83% sure of the diagnosis. We can ask them to wait until we have more diagnosis rooms, take a risk and treat them anyway, or send them home. Get them to wait, please. Now, what I will also do is I will go to hire. We've got nurses on the case right here. Pharmacy management and also training masterclass. Well, we've just got speed of doing everything. I should get you and get you trained in diagnostics. The, the efficient... Stamina trained nurses working diagnostics. I think that's a really good idea. So I'm going to hire you. She also works for Peanuts, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go... Actually, I don't have the money to do another um, training course. Um, this is a slight problem. I don't have the money. She's waiting for more diagnostics. I need that nurse there trained in diagnostics. That's going to cost me 15000 to be able to do that. Now, we've got money coming in. We can upgrade our Jab Master to make it more effective. 60, right, okay, brilliant. 16,000, that is absolutely spot on perfect because I don't want to take out the diagnostics bit. I want to go here, I want diagnosis. I've got two trainers. I can either have her do it and not... You know, it would actually be better to do that. It would be better to do that. We'll have her do the training and... I've got my new nurse there. That's the one I want her trained. It's 22 days. Start training. There. That is absolutely fantastic. Diagnosis decision. One of our patients, Chris Ida Catnip, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms. Uh, get them to wait. Now, I've got diagnosis there. We want to go to rooms. We've got cardiology, which is basic diagnosis. Or I've got a general diagnosis now. The other option we got is fluid analysis, which is high-tech diagnosis, but I don't want to do that. That's, that's going to cost too much. Super high-tech diagnosis, 60 grand. I don't have that kind of money. I, have, I, don't, I don't have that kind of money. I could, potentially, though, I could build a ward because that is cure and diagnosis. So I, I could just try building a basic ward. I've got 16 grand. There needs to be a 4 by 3 I can go like that. I can take that one out to a 6 by 3 She go with a 6 by 4 room right there if I wanted to. 
Yes, I want to stop editing that room. I don't want to put the ward there, I don't think. I don't think that is the best spot for the ward. One, two, three, four. This is the best spot for the ward in here. We'll do the six by four idea. We'll drop that one in there. And then I will put the door for it over that way. And then that one will go there like that. And then that one will go there in that corner like that. And then I want to have beds. I'm not going to do the jasmine beds in this one. What's the difference? Guaranteed to promote nice smelling dreams. All right, we will do the jasmine beds. We will do the jasmine beds in here. One. And I'm going to keep these, like, a reasonable bit apart, like that, there. So we've got three of them on that side. And then I'll come over and I will do the same over on this side over here. So I've got six beds in the ward. That's taken me to 15,000. I can't use very much in the way of wall monitors. I'd like to. Because they do definitely help big time. So I could put two wall monitors in there and then I'm out of money. We want a toxic bin because this is, you know, a, uh, a hospital. We, we, we need to be careful about these things. Um, we can put a fire extinguisher. Where should I put the fire extinguisher? I put the fire extinguisher over there. Wall monitor's going to have to go. I can't afford that one. I need an aircon unit. We've got to have an aircon unit in this room. We can't not have an aircon unit. Because it's... Uh, the, the temperature in here is, is going to get unbearable if we don't. We need hand sanitizer for cleanliness in here. We can't put that above the bin. We can't put... We can put it over there next to the patient's bed. Or we can... Actually, I'm going to put it next to that patient's bed there. Uh, that, as you know, that's fine. We we can have that. Thinking actually that one should go over here somewhere. Can't put it quite there. That can go in front of the bin. No, it can't. There. That one can go there. It's, it is in front of the bin. It's just out of the way. That's 16,200. I've got the basics that we need in there and nothing else. That is 1%, isn't it, for a wall monitor? 1%. Treatment and 1% diagnosis power. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of that one. That one can go. 15,700. There, I now have a ward. I've got a ward. I've got $885 left. So I've got treatment available in there. Now, did I have a nurse that was able to work on a ward? I do. I've got Albert Teeth is a ward management nurse. So we've got doctors in here. That doctor can go and work only in there. The other doctor at the moment can work everywhere. Nurses down here. Your training diagnostics. You will work only in diagnostics rooms, uh, which would be that one, but not those. And you here are a ward doctor, so you will only work in wards when the wards are opened. Uh, you are diagnostics, so you will only work in diagnostics like that. And you are the injection one. I'm going to let you work in a pharmacy if we do get a pharmacy. And diagnostics actually... Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today. So we will return next time. In the meantime, if you have enjoyed this episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.